Tara and I cut my hair. But if you follow me on Snapchat or Facebook or Twitter or anywhere else I'm online, you would know that because those are more like real time social networking platforms where videos, I can only get so much time to sit down and film and share things with you guys. So follow me on all those locations if you want kind of like in the moment things that are happening with my life. But I did, I cut my hair. And I know people are kind of freaking out. People on Facebook were just like, no, like I loved your long hair. And um, people on Instagram were happy to see it go. I guess it's just the nature of Instagram, but it was just time, guys. It was, it was time. I feel like I have toothpaste on my teeth. Not toothpaste, lipstick. <laughs> but it was just time. I feel like it is the season of change. And so let me kind of tell you why I, I decided to cut it you know, for the first time in my life, I didn't cut it because like I wanted to cut it. Usually in the past, I would have longer hair and I would see a photo of somebody with short hair and I just would think, that's so cute, they look so good, and that would kind of tempt me to cut it and I would. But this time it was just more, it's gonna sound so dramatic, but really think about it. It really was, my long hair was affecting everything in my life. And I'm, I'm talking everything. Like, like I would go to the gym and have to throw it up in a really tight bun so that when I'm doing weights, the ponytail wouldn't get caught like underneath my arm or my back. And then I would move on to the cardio machines and I would have to let the bun out into a ponytail because if I didn't, the bun would be flopping and it would hurt and it would fall out and it just wasn't staying out of my face. And I live in a super, super hot place. I mean, it is December 31st today and it is probably like 90 degrees outside. And so I was just constantly hot and wearing it up all the time and wearing it up all the time because I have such heavy hair and I have a lot of it and it was so long. It was hurting my head constantly. I, I constantly had headaches and there was always a hair tugging no matter where I put the ponytail on my head. Um, and not only that, but that was causing so much breakage in my hair that I had never experienced before. I was having pieces of hair break up to here because I was constantly pulling it back really tight and I was, it was just getting really dry and damaged looking. If you look at my last video, I almost didn't post that video because I was thinking my hair looks so horrible. It just looked bad. And then not only that, being home, trying to do chores, you know, if I had my hair down, it would be all in my face. And so again, I'd have to throw it up. I would take a shower and just like mountains of hair, clumps of hair would fall out and my husband was like, you're shedding like a dog and it was starting to drive him crazy and he always had strands of hairs wrapped around his arms somehow and you know, we'd be laying in bed and he would lay on top of my hair and my head would be like, get off my hair. So really it just became completely inconvenient in all aspects of my life. And I also have just always believed that I look better with shorter hair because I do have a really long face. So the longer my hair is, the more it drags my face down. Um, and so we kind of went in like, I don't have an attachment to my hair. So I told my stylist, you know, just, just, we're going to do it. Don't worry about me freaking out because I won't. I was more concerned about my husband and what he would think because I didn't tell him I was doing it. Um, and so we kind of decided that the longest layer would be like at my collarbone, which it is right now. And I, to be honest with you, I kind of want to get rid of this layer. Like I feel like it's at a place that kind of makes it look like a mullet. So, oh, look at those muscles. <laughs> um, so I kind of want to get rid of like this lower level and get it even shorter. So maybe cut off two inches or so and make it even shorter. Um, if you are interested in what I asked for when I went to the salon, I basically told her I do not want a single blunt cut, which this is a little more blunt, but not, not really, not in the technique she used, but I did not want any blunt cuts. I wanted everything to be texturized. I wanted it to be um, messy. I just want, basically I told her, I want you to make it as messy as possible without styling, so that way when I do style it, it just looks like it is a mess, which it really does and I'm still playing around with how I want to style it and how I like to style it so it's um it's a learning process but overall I'm loving it I have probably said 80 million times since I've cut it that I just feel so much better having shorter hair I'm wearing it down all the time um, I enjoy wearing it down I'm not hot it's kind of inspired me again to get dressed up again throw on some makeup 
and then just, you know, things like YouTube videos, it's made YouTube so much easier. I mean, I haven't filmed but this video yet, but just knowing that I'm going to have to spend less time on my hair just to film a video because I never really did anything with my hair, to be honest with you, like nothing at all because I just, I wasn't happy with it. So this is the year of changes. This year, there, you know, it, it's, pro it's looking like it's promising to be a really, really good year and I figure to go with all the changes, why not just chop my hair off and start fresh. You know, kind of talking about going into the new year and starting fresh, there are things I really want to accomplish. I just confirmed a huge deal with um, a partnership that has the opportunity to take this channel incredible places to places that I want to go and to do more for you guys, more opportunities. So I'm super excited with that. I have signed a deal with a major company, which I'm also really excited about. It's not anything crazy, like there's nothing you know big that's going to come from it. I don't have to promote them if I don't want to, but it's just kind of something that I feel good about. I'm doing a video that I've wanted to do and I'm doing it with two different purposes, which is fun. Um, physically, there are so many things I want to do to my physique. I want to keep training hard. I want to keep putting on lean muscle and leaning out, you know, in my legs and the core. Um, my marriage, I feel like it's in a really good spot. I feel like we're, we're, we're trying to understand each other more and figure out what makes each other happy. And I feel like we've been doing that. We've been making an effort to do that. Um, with my kids, I want to be more involved. I've been, you know, doing so much at their school and I want to continue to do stuff there. My house, we are finally going to start. I mean, we have started, but we're really going to like buckle down on getting this house put together so that I am in a space that makes me feel inspired and makes my mind feel clear. And I'm really excited about that. We're going today to kind of get the paint to start throwing it up on the wall. So, that is exciting. I want to do more on my blog. I want to do more on my YouTube channel. I want to make higher quality, better videos. So there's just a lot that I want to accomplish in 2016. And I feel good. I feel ready to take on the world. I feel like this is a fresh new start. And I hope you guys are feeling the same thing. I hope you guys are, you know, feeling hopeful. And I can tell you I've been there. Some days are not good, but the bad days are promising us better days if you just stick with it. And that means you have to actually work. You have to put in some work. You can't just sit back and expect things to change. But if you do make those little changes, over time they're going to start to accumulate and you're going to see things happen in your life that you never imagined. And I can tell you that from my own life and my own mental mindset adjustment. It really does work. You just have to put in the work. So. I'm so excited to be with you guys and see you guys in 2016. I hope you are excited for what this channel is going to be bringing. And please, as always, if you like these videos, if you like what we're trying to do here, share them, give it a thumbs up. Those things just help the video be placed different places for exposure so we can do more and grow. And that's really it. I hope you guys had a fabulous holiday season for those of you who celebrate Christmas and New Year's at this time of the year. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.